In today's Kidsburg report, fresh produce is coming in from farms all around our region right now. And as Christine Swanson reports, some of the farmers are local high school students who are winning awards for growing and giving produce all year long. She went to their school to see it for herself. I was so impressed with the hydroponic farm at Trinity High School in Washington, PA. In just their first year, they grew up to 800 heads of lettuce every week and gave it all to their local food bank. Hidden behind Trinity High School, inside this big white shipping container, is a farm, a hydroponic farm. The hue of fuchsia, wall of leaves, and frigid temperature make it feel like another planet. There's what we call a wicking strip down in here, okay. and that's kind of what you use to saturate the pods. It's known as the freight farm. Student Courtney Dalquist shows me how the lettuce goes from seed to leaves, all in this container. There's no sun, no rain, just the right chemicals, temperature, and light, all part of the education. So you can see once they start to get this like really okay. nice big root system, mm -hmm. that's how you know that they're ready to go up into the vertical columns. Teacher Jeanette Hartley credits the success of the freight farm's first year to the hard work of her four students who learned biology, chemistry, and much more in this non-traditional class. And you can tell them that all day long, but until they see it, until they feel it, until they're pouring the nutrients and seeing the dosing and putting in the parameters for how much you have to dose, they're not really understanding the whole idea. I really learned a lot about teamwork and like working with other people. Once the lettuce is ready, the students bag it and give it all to the Greater Washington County Food Bank. Trinity High School won the Regional Jefferson Award for Public Service in part because of their generosity. This hydroponic farm has been so successful since it started in August, the food bank is replicating it so they can grow even more produce. We're actually sort of using their system as a model um, so that we can start to raise fresh produce and fish through aquaponics ourselves, um, get that out to the community. The students love sharing their produce with the community and take pride in what they grow. We always have to quality control it to make sure it's not too bitter, so we always have to make sure that that's all right. So yeah, we test it every day. <laughs> Tastes pretty good. The students are excited about the potential opportunities for more freight farms in places like abandoned buildings in inner cities or in deserts where nothing can grow. You can read about more amazing students and schools on kidsburg.org, and we have a link for you at kdka.com slash kidsburg. For Pittsburgh Today Live, I'm Christine Sorensen.